I want to talk to you about the, the, the young men that we have in our organization and what they've been able to do so far in this upcoming season. The minute we got done with our season in December, these guys got right to work. There was no hesitation. There was no doubt in their mind that we are very, very close to being a dominant football team in the Pac-12. And what they did was just amazing. They made an effort to not only compete on the field, but in the classroom, like Mr. George said, they did a great job of competing off the field, in the classroom, and now what they're doing this fall is phenomenal. There's defensive coordinator Chris Wilson at the kickoff lunch in a couple of weeks ago as we get ready for game number one on Friday night, Colorado and TCU. You might have had a chance to see this great piece recently on social media as we take a deep dive into the life of Carl Durrell. In this three-part series, here we take a look at his road to becoming the head coach of the Buffaloes. I'd like to introduce our head football coach, Carl Durrell. This, uh, this was a unique experience for me. This was a dream come true. We decided years ago that Colorado was going to be our home to stay when it was all said and done. I did have that inkling in the back of my mind, though, that uh, my fondness for this university and getting a chance to be in this position uh, would be a dream. And uh, it came true. I want to just share my story as to why it's so important to me. I came here as an assistant in 1992, worked for Bill McCartney, and I know in his way of teaching me early in my career was, these players, you gotta make sure that you coach them, that they trust you and believe in you. Let's go! So my story coming here and getting a chance to work for a wonderful coach and wonderful players was very instrumental to my makeup as I grew as a coach. There's nothing better than being on the grass. I love football, I love coaching the game. Um, I love coaching the basic elements of the game. That's the best part of coaching to me, is, is being in the one-on-one -on -one scenarios on the field and really developing young men. It's really important that you have a great connection with the players, that's first and foremost. But I think when it's all said and done, have I, have I impacted enough? People, which is what I'm here for. My parents are from the East Coast. My dad grew up in the Bronx in New York and my mom actually grew up in, in West Virginia. Right after they graduated from high school, they got married, he went into the Navy and started their, their journey. We moved to, to San Diego in 1969. My dad was gone a lot with tours of duty and uh, Vietnam, things like that. For a good bit of time of being raised, it was really solely with my mom. She raised all seven of us at one time in the house, and it was governed by her. She, she did rule with a, uh, I call a strong arm. You know, she kept us in, you know, the football during football season that went into basketball season that went into baseball or track season in the spring. So, you know, that was kind of her method to her madness was to keep our kids, all these kids out of trouble is to put them in sports. The glamour and pageantry that surrounds the Helix High School athletic tradition has long been epitomized by the award-winning Highlander band. Tonight, on a cool December evening, they would lead the way into Diego Stadium as their football team went after a CIF crown. Carl Durrell also had a big year, coming up with key plays like this crucial scoring run versus Granite Hills. The big win over the playoff-bound Eagles was one of the great moments of 1980. Durrell was the club's second leading scorer. High school football was, it was a dream. 
when I went to Helix High School, you know, we won two CIF championships, you know, on the varsity level. I remember the end of my junior year, a few letters would trickle in, and I think my first official letter of being recruited was from Idaho State University. When that occurred and I had that first letter, it just it kicked me into working harder. I had a number of choices to go to school. I was really blessed. I wanted to stay on the West Coast. I did end up going to UCLA. My career at UCLA was tremendous. We won a lot of games, we had a lot of success. We've been to three Rolls Bowls and won. I accomplished a, really a lot that I set myself out to when I was a student athlete there. Well, there's the first of a three-part series as we look at the road to Carl Durrell becoming the head coach of the Colorado Buffaloes. Coming up next here in the Buffalo Stampede, we're talking volleyball. It was a 3-0 weekend for Jesse Mahoney and the CU women. <laughs>